to do to grow the economy. To act it was a full house at the Capri Hotel last week as Premier Christy Clark spoke to a Kelowna Chamber of Commerce luncheon. Her subject, the 2014 B.C. budget, tabled on February the 18th. And it's worth doing that hard work because balancing your budget really matters. With few surprises or goodies, some are calling this budget boring. People call it boring. I call it unwavering. And to me, unwavering is really what people wanted. They want us to stick with our plan, to just make sure that we are doing what we said we were going to do. And so, you know, I think when people call it boring, what they mean is, Oh, it's exactly what we expected. I think a no surprises budget's a, a good budget and a balanced budget, uh, no less. And it wasn't long ago, about a year ago now, there were so many people saying whether or not the budget really was balanced. We've proven that it was balanced and now we've introduced a, a second consecutive balanced budget. We are in a very select group across the country. I have said from the very beginning, balancing the budget is our central principle. We will square our accounts. Premier we Clark was asked later by reporters how this was achieved. It's been because we've been controlling government spending and that means every day, every hour of every day, saying no to a lot of projects that we would otherwise be worthy if we could, if we could afford them. Most importantly though, the biggest part of controlling government spending is making sure that public sector wage increases are kept at a manageable and affordable level. So we've worked with the public sector unions and you know, I, I'm thanks, many thanks to them for standing up and deciding that they wanted to do the right thing in tough times. So we kept those, the growth in those wages really small. That meant that we were able to control the growth in government spending and that meant we're able to balance without going back and asking people for a whole bunch more taxes. She defended what has been called a failure to address the social deficit, for example, in youth employment and child poverty in the province. We have in this budget uh, put aside more money for the Ministry of Children and Families and for Community Living BC, which supports people who live with disabilities. So we have, you know, in very tight times, squeezed out some more money for those two ministries. Really the only ministries that are seeing a substantial lift in the budget because we want to make sure that we are supporting people who are vulnerable. But you're quite right, there aren't a whole lot of new spending initiatives in the budget. It's not, um, it, it, you know, we are still in very tough economic times. And I believe that in order to get out of these tough economic times, we have to balance our budget first. Then in future years, we can really have the resources we need to make sure we are doing all of those things that we'd all really love to do. We say yes to growth. And we will be deciding we want to make a different future for our kids, the kind of future that our parents and grandparents created for us. Thank you very much for coming. For Shaw TV from Kelowna, I'm Doug Brown.